Okay, now we're going to illustrate on paper the electrical diagram for our compressor. So here's our compressor in the center with its common start and run connections. Up here is our contactor right here, which is normally open contacts, L1 and L2. And here's our potential relay at the bottom with five, two, and one terminals. Start capacitor and our run capacitor. So here's our potential relay and it's de-energized state. It has a normally closed contact between two and one and our coil between five and two. And the coil, it's gonna get its voltage across the start winding and it's gonna measure number five it's going to be hooked up to the same side as the common on the compressor. Number two is going to be hooked up to the same side as the start winding terminal. And number one is going to go to the same side as run, but before it gets there, it's going to go in series through the start capacitor. So as you can see now, we have a path from L2 through the start capacitor from number one through the normally closed contact and up to the start terminal on our compressor. So what that's going to do is assist our compressor on startup and once it gets up to speed this coil is going to sense a voltage across the start winding and the reason it doesn't operate this contact initially when the contactor closes is because every coil or relay has a certain pull in and drop out voltage and actually what this has been what's measured here across five and two is not the line voltage coming in but the back emf or back electromotive force and that is the voltage that's being produced by the rotor rotating when the motor comes up to speed or the compressor as it comes up to speed it's going to have a voltage opposing line voltage and that's actually going to be higher than our line voltage coming in. Line voltage coming in is 240 and this right here across the start winding is going to be well above that 240 volt value. So that's going to cause our coil to have enough magnetism to move our contact and change it from being closed to open once this compressor comes up to nearly full speed. So it's going to initially allow the start capacitor to help out starting the motor and once the motor is up to speed it's going to drop the start capacitor out of the circuit by opening this contact here and then all we'll be left with in this application is our run capacitor continuing to assist the efficiency of our compressor in operation so hopefully this helps you guys out and thank you for watching